First up right now at 6, a wild day in court as an alternate juror is dismissed in the ongoing Michelle Traconis trial. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Erin Connolly. The longtime nanny for the five Dulos children was on the stand again today. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane breaks down day four of the high profile trial from Stanford Superior Court. Judge Kevin Randolph dismissing one of the alternate jurors who was overheard on the way back from lunch telling one of the assisting prosecutors, we love you. As for the testimony today, it focused on the nanny, Lauren Almeida, who still continues to look after the five Dulos children. It started to become very tense and uncomfortable being in the presence of both of them. Um, they were arguing a lot. Lauren Almeida started working for the Dulos family back in 2012, telling jurors things turned in the spring of 2017, shortly after meeting Michelle Traconis on a family trip to Miami. Not long after that, Jennifer told Almeida she had proof Fotis was having an affair. Farber Dulos eventually moved to New Canaan, and the couple was in the middle of a contentious divorce and custody battle when she disappeared on May 24th, 2019. Almeida testifying on that morning, Jennifer stopped returning calls and texts. The second I called Jennifer, it's like my stomach just sank because she never not answered her phone. Almeida told jurors when she showed up to work earlier that day, a few things seemed out of place. Jennifer's Range Rover was still in the garage, even though she planned on taking it to New York City for an appointment. Inside the house, she thought it was unusual that her purse was on the kitchen floor. And a 12-pack of paper towels she said she put in the pantry the night before was now down to just two rolls, in line with the state's theory that some sort of cleanup happened in the garage. Have you seen Jennifer Dulos since... May 23rd, 2019? No. Have you heard from Jennifer Dulos since those text messages that we saw earlier on May 24th, 2019? No. And while the jurors heard plenty of testimony, there's now one fewer to weigh all the evidence. After an alternate juror was dismissed for reportedly saying, we love you, towards a prosecutor while on the way back from lunch, with Judge Kevin Randolph saying it could be viewed as an endorsement of the strength of the state's case. It would be difficult to proceed with him seated as a juror because the impartiality and fairness of that juror can reasonably be questioned. So with that alternate dismissed, we are now down to six jurors and four alternates. So what's next for tomorrow? Well, earlier in the week, the state prosecutors mentioned we could be hearing some DNA evidence testimony on Thursday. Reporting at Stanford Superior Court, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Now the